Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. Today we are taking a look at the performance of the newest, just released CPU from Intel in the i9-12900K and comparing it to its previous generation, the i9-11900K. They do run at pretty similar stock frequencies, with the turbos up to 5.3GHz for 11th gen but only 5.2GHz for the 12th. With the 12th gen also having 16 cores, 24 threads, split into its 8 and 8 big and little cores, whereas 11th has 8 cores, 16 threads. And we are expecting to see some performance difference here. With the introduction of their new performance and efficiency cores, you can expect to see a better performance, especially on Windows 11, which is what we did most of our tests on. Intel and Microsoft worked together to make the new architecture work best with smaller tasks working on efficiency cores and performance cores working on a big important tasks, meaning that background tasks shouldn't affect your game performance anymore, or you can run other stuff while gaming. For the 12th gen CPU, we did monitor the cores separately on our overlay, so we should be able to see how they work during gaming. We also only did 4040p and 4k as with a 3090 and all the games at max settings we wanted no real graphic bottleneck and see what difference the CPU may have. So we start off with a control and at 4040p on ultra the 11900k is averaging 131 fps with a 1% of 102 and 0.1% of 45 with the 12900k averaging 129 fps with a 1% of 106 and 0.1% of 100. Then at 4k the 11th gen averages 68 FPS with a 1% of 56 and a 0.1% of 22. And the 12th gen averages 69 FPS with a 1% of 58 and 0.1% of 28. On to CSGO, and at 4040p, the 11th gen averages 297 FPS with a 1% of 129 and 0.1% of 53. And the 12th gen averages 355 FPS with a 1% of 122 and a 0.1% of 39. Up to 4K, and the 11th gen averages 269 FPS, with 1% of 73, and a 0.1% of 42. With the 12th gen averaging 320 FPS, with 1% of 148, and 0.1% of 51. Getting a good boost from better GPU utilization, even if it has lower CPU utilization. Next up is Cyberpunk, and the 11th gen is averaging 101 FPS, with a 1% of 15, and 0.1% of 13. And the 12th gen averages 99 FPS, for 1% of 84 and a 0.1% of 80. Up to 4K and the 11th gen is averaging 68 FPS with 1% of 60 and 0.1% of 56. Then the 12th gen is averaging 69 FPS with a 1% of 58 and 0.1% of 14. We move on to Days Gone and at 4040p the 11th gen is averaging 147 FPS with 1% of 89 and 0.1% of 29 and then the 12th gen is averaging 142 FPS with 1% of 87 and 0.1% of 59 Moving up to 4K, the 11th gen is averaging 90 FPS with 1% of 63 and 0.1% of 51 and then the 12th gen is averaging 84 FPS with 1% of 64 and 0.1% of 43 Far Cry 6 is up next and at 4040p, the 11th gen is averaging 108 FPS with 1% of 90 and 0.1% of 61. And the 12th gen is averaging 96 FPS for 1% of 51 and 0.1% of 41. And then at 4K, the 11th gen is averaging 85 FPS for 1% of 66 and 0.1% of 47. And then 12th gen is averaging 66 FPS for 1% of 46 and 0.1% of 36. Onto Gas Station Simulator, and at 1440p, the 11th gen is averaging 117 FPS with a 1% of 71 and 0.1% of 49. Then the 12th gen is averaging 125 FPS with a 1% of 82 and 0.1% of 35. Up to 4K, and the 11th gen is averaging 78 FPS with a 1% of 42 and 0.1% of 4. With the 12th gen averaging 75 FPS for 1% of 56 and 0.1% of 29. We have New World next, and at 1440p, the 11th gen is averaging 107 FPS for 1% of 51 and 0.1% of 19. And the 12th gen is averaging 125 FPS with 1% of 72 and 0.1% of 57. Up to 4K, and the 11th gen is averaging 109 FPS with 1% of 52 and 0.1% of 5. And finally, the 12th gen is averaging 126 FPS for 1% of 80 and 0.1% of 67. Lastly, we compared the performance of the CPUs in a couple of synthetics or workstation applications, such as the BMW Blender Render benchmark. There is quite a significant difference, with the 11th gen taking 2 minutes 42 and the 12th gen only 1 minute 33, a big performance boost in the newest generation in rendering. We also have Cinebench R23, and on single core, 
the 11th gen scores at 1546 and the 12th gen scores 1949 so again quite a significant score difference and the improvement is much better in the multi-core with the 11th gen scoring 14318 and the 12th gen scoring 25777 so quite the improvement on the multi-core over 10,000 points over so there you have it, a selection of benchmarks for the 11900K and the all new 12900K. The big and little core architecture is new, and so it probably still has some optimization to do, but in a lot of situations, it does outperform the older generations. With the reshaping of their die, yet another socket is introduced with LGA1700, and the 12900K is another $50 more, over the 11th gen MSRP at $600. Not cheap at all, but you do expect a quite a big performance out of the CPU, and it looks like it has not so much in most GPUs games but in CPU dependent it is big such as in CSGO where it's over 50 FPS more on average and similarly in New World where it can get over 20 more FPS on average where the others are stuck near 100 with that game's interesting performance and then the workstation performance is very impressive with taking off nearly a minute off a render and improving its Cinebench scores so much it is a great deal an improvement in resource management when multitasking which is becoming bigger nowadays, you can expect less stuttering and performance hitch by doing stuff on your other monitor while gaming. Finally, Intel has brought it onto AMD again, and we can't wait to see what Team Red brings out in response to this. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.